All right. Hello, hello, everyone. I'm actually here. Surprisingly started on time despite having to set everything up semi semi last minute. Uh, and even more surprisingly, did not forget the stream link this time. So we're off to a great start. But uh, yeah, hi everyone. How's it going? <laughs> Yeah, hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> and so it's been a while. Like it was it hasn't been ten months, but uh it's been like a month. But we're finally back with another mod I outcome. And this time I decided to finally go through with doing a chapter comp. So we're going to be in for a long stream. Now, I will say, there, so unsurprisingly, was not uh, was not that many entrants. But even still, we are going. It's, the stream's probably going to be as about as long as normal. So here with me to help commentate that today, I have Mookie. Hello. I said hello early, but hello said, again. You said hello early, but hello for the second time. <laughs> Only the most professional of streams on Hat Community, remember, folks. <laughs> but yeah, so... I tried to pick a chapter that wasn't, uh, like, too, too long. And I've seen, I've seen some polarizing opinions on it, so also, unsurprisingly... <laughs> led to the uh led uh, to the uh lower participant count but hey i mean that's less work for me so you won't hear me complaining. <laughs> <laughs> you won't hear me complaining but uh yeah so i will get right into it we can switch layouts and cut the music by music i'm excited and as with chapters or any longer level in general, there's going to be a lot of room for strats and creativity. And I am really excited to see what people have come up with this one for this one, because there's a lot you can potentially do. So let us switch. Okay, I did not. I was kind of worried for a second that a uh, first choke would be a pretty bad one. Oh, wait, never mind. It is a pretty bad one. Ignore that. Well, actually, no, it's not. Never mind. Okay, we're safe. That that wasn't supposed to pop up just yet. <laughs> but yeah, so this chapter is uh, on the shorter side. It's split up into four different acts, uh, each with a slightly different gameplay style than the uh, the last. It's a little linear, but I like that there's a, a bit of both... Uh, routing and uh, linear gameplay involved. Not that much uh, routing with like the last level, but I do appreciate that it's there. So we'll get to see a bit of the best of both worlds in this. Um, really? I do like that. And there's the funny, the funny first act everyone definitely loves. Oh, the, fir the, the first infamous act. So... One of the things I've heard a lot of people say is the, uh, and it's it's very glaringly obvious if you've tried to participate. It's the, the uh, cutscenes. There are quite a bit of cutscenes in this chapter. Just unfortunately unskippable. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> as, well, I mean, as far as I know. <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. I will confirm that they are unskippable. But uh. Yeah, I'm sure that lair dissuaded a lot of people from participating. I was hoping that uh, the gameplay would more than make up for it, but I I, re I do realize not a lot of people really wanted to uh, sit through the cutscenes because there are a decent bit of them. But regardless of that, I still think we're going to see a lot of interesting gameplay, and that's the main reason I still went through with choosing it, just because of sure. how much that I think potential that i think there is in this so without further ado in uh dragging things on uh let's kick things off 
with our first participant. So we're already starting off. We are already in top three. Starting off with Ooh. my man, Hardcore Cheese. Five. Cheese? Yep, Cheese actually ended up participating in this one. Let's go. The absolute legend himself. So let's see his run. I'll turn that down a bit. All right. So you'll notice that uh, something may be <laughs> popping out to you at first. <laughs> and that is the, uh, the absolute majesty. That is the lava die. In fact, this die is so good that uh, it was Cheese's entire motivation for participating. Because <laughs> the world just has to know about the lava die. Oh, we have- we actually have Cheese in the chat here. Defending the lava die as the best hat in time die to exist. Yeah, it's crazy to see Cheese playing Hat in 2023. You always love to see old legends come back for stuff like this. Anyway, so far, uh, pretty standard gameplay. Going through the ship to get the key to trigger the event. Going out of bounds, though, here, through a crack in the wall. That's interesting, because that's not something you see very often in these. There's usually just like a box around it, but no, you can actually go through the cracks apparently. I did not even know that. You can just go through the cracks in the wall to get out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> looks like yeah, I jumps, did not know that either. <laughs> jumps back out of bounds to fall down and void out to get back up. So now at this part, you just have to make your way back out of the ship. And then you watch a pretty long cutscene. And then the end of this die is per end of Oh this my die. god. <laughs> the end of this The entire is screen. It's just covered by the, the fucking die. <laughs> so now we're getting a first taste of uh, the very unskippable cutscenes that uh, kind of hinder this level. They are funny though, they're amazing cutscenes. Maybe don't lend itself the best to speedrunning. So once you make your way back to the ship here, um, that is pretty much the end of the first act. Then all you need to do is grab a, uh, a like a little file, and then that's the end of the first act. Because the the meat of this uh, chapter mod is in definitely, I would say, in the second and third acts. That's where we're gonna see. I feel like a lot of difference in in gameplay and strats. Oh, cheese! <laughs> oh. She's, she's reading the uh, reading the box label. Yeah, and then once you grab this uh, file here, that is the end of the first act. Then you go to this planet to get the timepiece, and that is the next act. Looks like Cheese is ending the first level with a 30169. Not a bad time at all to start with, considering how long the cutscenes are. So starting off this act, once this uh this cutscene here is done with. Once this cutscene here is done, um, this where the probably the single longest act in this chapter is. You pretty much just have to climb out of this thing you get shot down onto. And it looks like Cheese is in fact using the Hat Kid Swears mod. Very, very tasteful <laughs> choice there. And there we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, uh... That's a long message. <laughs> I had to get rid of that. But anyways, yeah, so this is where the, uh, the big meat of the uh, chapter mod is. In this act here. So you have to climb back out and get out of this planet. And this is where I think we're going to see a lot of really interesting routing and strat choices. That was cool. Oh, that was, yeah, that was cool movement. 
doing that with this die seems a bit hard, but... <laughs> yeah, that, that's the thing. Like, using this die just makes all gameplay and stuff even all the more impressive. Oh my god. Just because of oh. how hard it is to oh. just see, like, and know where your character is. You should, you should actually just get, like, a minute off your time for playing with this die. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> I, I respect the dedication to showing the world the majesty of the lava die. Because you're hitting a lot and non lag movement, like SDS yeah. and DSJs, by the way. All non lag movement tech used so far. I am surprised we haven't seen a fall yet. <laughs> but that just makes it all the more impressive. So, this part here, taking the hook shots. Oh. I was wondering if you were going to see something with, uh, going back the other way there. And, oh, oh my god, that, I don't know why that scared me so much. I thought, because the depth perception, she's gonna <laughs> The break. dive made it look closer than it was, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And getting through the buzz saws, no problem. This is, these... this is clean run so far. Yeah, this actually. is just all around just act... solid movement. Very solid movement so far. Oh, looks like a. That's the other thing. You actually you can't tell what hat you have out with this either. So I think there's like a bit of a, a discrepancy there with that. I'm interested to see this part. Yeah, the dweller part. It's going to be one of the most interesting parts, I feel, in all the runs we see, because there's a lot you can potentially do here, too. Oh, not a great cycle here, though. So, Cheese does wait on that to get across. Oh, nice uh, save with that. Hitting the uh, second platform right away. This is really solid. Like, just really solid corner cutting and clean movement. So this part, I was gonna interested to see what... Oh, oh! Oh! That, that, is, that is a very interesting way of doing that. The perfectly timed dweller. Yeah, he's not even oh. jump, just like, perfectly <laughs> time it. <laughs> that was, that was swag if I've ever seen it before. Oh! Okay, that was a little, a little bit of a scare right there. But right here is where you get the, uh, you actually get a permanent dweller bubble for the rest of the log. That makes it so you don't have to use dweller just to walk on the uh, dweller surface. You still can cancel it out though is the interesting thing if you use dweller again. So it's like a double effect, which is cool. And SDJs just get over the bubble. It's kind of confusing to do at first, though, like, just because... Yeah, this is... And jumps onto this thing that appears. It's actually there. Before... Oh, uses time stop to... Oh, that's that's so interesting, actually. <laughs> yeah, uses time stop to speed up the game, which is actually a weird side effect of, like, when maps or levels, like, slow down the game itself. You can use time stop to speed up the game, funnily enough. So ends the second level with just under eight minutes, and this is the second to last act before the uh, the last part. Oh, dives off the stairs and skips that entirely. Okay, so this cycle. Yeah, this act, there's a big bell in the background. You can't see it right now. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> the buzz saw ends up getting him. Oh man. <laughs> Not that bad of a fall there. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, of all the places to fall, that's probably the, like, the best one, to be honest. <laughs> so yeah, this part is interesting. Looks like Cheese is opting to uh, use the Dweller Mask to just ignore the. Uh, Based. <laughs> Ignore the walls entirely. That is based. And see how these balloons go. 
Very solid. There's only been one fall this entire run. Which honestly, because of the lava die, is really impressive to me. Oh, a little bit of struggle to get into the cannon. There's that bell. Yep, there's the big bell that makes everything rise and fall, and the dweller bells come out. Oh, <laughs> jeez. I I'm not sure what happened there. Oh no! No! The ending, the very end of the level, we're seeing some chokes. But it's not, it's not all as, uh, as it seems. This last part here actually has a unique gimmick of it that can really trip you up. So the bell in the background in this section, like whenever it, uh, whenever the hammer hits the bell, it actually slows down the game by a decent amount, and it's like constantly fluctuating the game speed in this segment. And it doesn't, maybe it's, maybe it's a little subtle, but it can really throw off, like, your movements. Oh, nice oh. That was, like, the sickest I... save I've ever seen. I just wanted to point out something. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> <It's unfortunate>. no. <laughs> oh, no. But oh. I wanted to point out something with this, uh, ending part here. Uh, there's actually, like, a weird timing where if you destroy this rift orb, I, like... A very unfortunate time. The entire cutscene is in like slow motion. Oh and you, no! <laughs> it happened to me one time, and you actually lose like thirty seconds. No! <laughs> I. Oh my god! I actually did not know that. Yeah. It's... That is tragic. But yeah, now that the uh, rift orb is broken, that does mark the end of the third act. So that is the goal of this level shortly going to be going into the last act soon so time will be coming up soon and right about here is where the act ends and this is the last act you actually can't see this in the telescope but there's a short little fourth act where you have to collect a bunch of timepiece shards to uh get the last or to end the level rather so this is where a bit of routing does come into play which i think is pretty cool it looks like Cheese is off to get these two. And then there is one in the tree. It looks like I'm guessing that one's going to be last. Oh! Having a little bit of trouble getting that. That pesky shard. Oh! Ooh, nice TSJ. That TSJ, these rocks, I will mention, have terrible collision. So with that, especially with the lava die, that was really that was really cool. Ending with a final time of 11.47.41. So we are sub 12 minutes. GG. GG's, GG's. So yeah, uh, quite the long uh, chapter. I wanted to pick one that wasn't too long. So hopefully... Yeah. For everyone that participated, uh, it was not too long. And for the next one, you pick like a 30 minute long one, so the showcase is multiple hours. <laughs> so I'm going to have to make the showcase multiple hours. I'm mainly asking because I'm still unsure like about how I want to format this. Um, I think next time I'm going to announce it at a bit of a better time, too. Yeah. Going to clean up the act. Yeah. The act the act three is honestly just hard. Like act two and three are just really hard to do optimally. The act two is really good though. Yeah, your act least. two was really clean. Like honestly, I didn't see any mistakes in there. Like you hit everything. Even with even though you use the lava die. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to do a bit more research on that. Cause I think I'm gonna wanna stick to maybe shorter ones. I will probably do a longer one. And even though uh there weren't that many participants, I I feel like that's kind of on me. I'll probably still do them very infrequently. Yeah, it's every couple mod ales just thrown in mod chapter. Probably do it like now and then. Yeah, I was thinking, like, maybe, uh, like, every 10 or so, I'll just do one. J 
just to keep the novelty of it alive, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, very, very nice run to kick things off with us. And uh, very impressive, considering <laughs> you choose the lava die. It is probably the best die on the workshop. Go install the die mega mix pack now. So you can you too can experience the lava die. I right. love the lava die. I have to go get it right now. Yeah, I'm I'm sure you're all clamoring to get the lava die after this showcase. Very nice run though, uh to kick things off. So with that being said, let's uh move on a bit. I switched uh I switched to a different scene on accident. Do we Minor count that Turk. As do we, okay, we can count that. <laughs> I'm I just I'm not look, if I end up not choking the rest of the stream, that's a dub. Then I'm going to say we don't count that just so I can say that I didn't choke on a mod IL stream. <laughs> Yeah, you choked on a mod chapter stream. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, when you put it like that. Uh... True. Uh, okay, so moving on to second place, we have Sunglasses Run. And sunglasses! Let's go, Sunglasses. This one actually starts from the main menu. So there's this thing with mod chapters where um, if you reset out of the mod chapter, I don't know if this run does it, but if you reset out of the mod chapter, you actually get an IL timer in a spaceship, right? So yeah. if that happens and it actually determine like will change the results, I will probably just subtract the time off of it. I didn't do that yet because I don't know, but uh, that is something to note for this and future mod chapter comps. But I don't think we'll see that here, if I had to guess. I only know that because it happened to me, <laughs> because mine does that. But anyways, without further ado, let's see sunglasses run. All right. Always love the input display. Very clear. Oh no, the mods! <laughs> that That is a big time cost right there. Just having to Ooh. scroll through the- Oh mods. no, it starts the act timer still. Oh yeah. Look, so it looks like sunglasses did not do that then. Because in mine, you will definitely see the uh, uh, act timer in Spaceship. Oh, just running through the fish to tank the damage. I actually didn't know you could do that and keep the uh, keep the run or sprint on the tightrope. Very interesting strat. So often sunglasses opts to not hit the button that moves the crane and actually go along the saw blade and little arm of the ship that actually seems to have collision. Oh. Struggling a bit to get through the door, but that was a very interesting strip. Yeah, that fish back oh. there is a, a huge troll. <laughs> oh, the, I, I saw sunglasses try to go for a cherry SCJ there, but had to double back because the, uh, the miss. I was so afraid that he was going to fall. Alright, so taking the cherry up here, it's actually the... Uh, the intended way to do this room. You have to blow up this little ice block right there. Oh, but intended skipping, gaming. Skipping. That was a good skip there. Not quite an all intended. Skipping the uh, ending part with a nice throw there. And then it's the key, like 126 about. And how are we gonna see? All right, so we're going to see the elevator being used here. Which actually isn't. Oh. Oh, no bomb. Okay, Let's actually, go. that was a lot. <laughs> okay, that was sick as hell. The no bomb slide. You always love to see no bomb strats. All right. Very, very interesting strats so far for this act. I'm wondering to see how the end of this act will play out. I'm wondering if like the strats for the very short segments of gameplay here will differ. 
or if it's just all gonna be just going in a straight line. Very interesting so far. And then our friend here is going to perish. Goodbye. Yeah, don't mess with agency. Don't mess with agency. A line all of the participants are probably very familiar with. Alright, so it looks like sunglasses is indeed just going in a straight line, but that was pretty clean. And with that, the f end of the first act is near. I'm wondering what how sunglasses will There it be is. Ending. Don't mess with agency. <laughs> Nobody messes with agency. See, nobody. Alright, lag a CJ over to this platform. Alright. Oh, nice lag a CJ. Oh, actually jumping onto the uh, flying debris as it was like floating around. That was actually really cool. Using that to uh, their advantage. Looks like they have the 326. Act. So a little over 20, 25 seconds slower than Cheese's time here. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, all the time that will be saved over Cheese. I'm guessing it'll probably either be in Act. I'm guessing it'll be in Act 3, honestly. Oh. Oh. I'm guessing that's an alt tab. <laughs> Yeah. yeah that, that's it. That's an, I've never I've seen That's kind of funny. I've seen the pixelation before, but I've never seen the uh, I've never seen the screen get squished like that. The old tab here that's so funny. <laughs> that's so funny. Hey, what else are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was great. Thank you for that. Very intended. I like the mashing to all right. Oh, what was that ledge? <laughs> that a funny invis ceiling or something. <laughs> that that did not look quite right. <laughs> I love hat and time collision. All right, so I'm really interested to see sunglasses strats here. It's just mainly because I'm just interested to see where such a big chunk of time will be saved. Oh, uses the hook shot, but only for a second to. Skip having to SDJ over. Oh, under. Oh. Oh, that's a kind of tight one too. Okay. Yeah, that looks that looked kind of scary to make. That was really definitely nice, though. fast though. Definitely a little fa faster than what Cheese did, I think. Just going under the bridge like that. So far, it's pretty similar though. Ma mainly just with the bridge being the big difference between the two. Yeah. Um. Oh, this is different. Oh. Oh, that There's doesn't. Like... Wait, that thing doesn't have collision. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that scared me. Oh man, that was really close to a fall right there with that saw blade. Alright, I wonder how this is gonna go. Okay, yeah, I was wondering if this is something Cheese is gonna do. But it looks like you can oh. just SDJ to this uh, these springs here and skip that other part entirely. So that is another little bit of time save. So far the strats are looking really similar to Cheese's though, which is really interesting. Does have to wait on the- oh! Oh my god! Oh, so close! <laughs> Does have to wait on the sub- Oh, where are we going? Oh! Oh, wait, these actually have collision! Okay. That's a cool strat. That was really cool. So skip that entire section with the ice hat platforms by riding up the thing that carries the saw blades. And looks like skipping the other sections by going on the underside of that ship. Because the thing with this map is that everything, practically everything, has collision. So that was a really nice use of a oddball collision like that. That skipped quite a bit of, uh, platforming. Oh, it doesn't get the, uh, Dweller carry, though. Alright. And... Oh! Oh, no! Oh, oh wait! 
Wait, that fall was intentional. Oh. Wait, hold on a second. I did not know about that. Oh, I didn't either. That's actually really cool. So I guess the moment you hit that button, the next checkpoint is already set for some reason. Yeah, it's and really cool. And sunglasses just took the fall immediately to respawn to at the next next checkpoint. And very nice. That was really clean. That's the kind of strat you find by like accidentally falling there, and then you're like, oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I, I'm gonna take a guess. Is that how it was found? Yep. Yeah. We got the confirmation in the chat. I love that. That's hilarious. Accidental strat finds are the best, especially when it has to do with you failing. <laughs> All right, so this part's looking pretty similar as well. And yep, Sunglasses also knew about the invisible collision. Looks like Sunglasses also- Oh, the also, time's up too. Sunglasses also ended up finding the time stop glitch. Interesting. Ending with the final time of 8.21, so still about 20 seconds slower than Cheese. So it must really be the Act 3 carry that ended up saving this. Because I believe Cheese's time was a little under 8 minutes. I think it was 7.59. So lag see. shot there? That's oh, a, yeah. a pretty big time save. Oh yeah, that was a sick lag shot. And all right, no, no buzz, not not getting caught out by the buzz saw. Taking these dweller spheres normally it looks like. Yeah, we didn't really. I didn't think we really mentioned it when cheese the last run, but cheese actually like used the dweller to dot like to run along those platforms back there. Yeah, it even looks strange too. Oh, lag like shot. Yo, okay, that was a sick lag like shot. Oh, oh, lag oh no! Oh. Just barely missing the balloon. Oh, but gets it that time. Oh, that's a huge... Oh, you can get all the way over here. That is a huge shortcut. And taking the cannon before talking to the guy. So that cannon there is actually always there. It's just hidden. So you can actually take it without even that's talking funny. to the guy. And that actually has more benefits than just being a little faster. That actually also has the added benefit of not having the game slow down at all in this segment. Because uh, the whole time slowing thing does not happen if you do that. That is super useful. <laughs> so now this segment will just be played at normal speed. Which is probably going to be a huge... That's probably honestly the biggest time save over cheese. Just to have not the game not slow down constantly. And makes it to the time rift orb at 10.08. And that's the end of the third act. So, yeah. I think that time destroying the time rift orb was... Like... I think he's 20 seconds like ahead of Cheese now. Just from this act alone. Just all the different uh, cool strats and uh, not taking or not talking to the guy just saves so much. Yeah, there was. Well, I guess not including mine. So it looks like we're just maybe barely going to miss sub 11. The cheese's final time was 11:41. Yeah, 20, yeah, about 20 seconds. So that really was that significant. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, the rocks. These rocks. The collision on these rocks is so bad. And, okay, but finally gets it after a little bit of struggles. And it looks like Sunglasses is going to have a final time of maybe 11.20. No. Ending with a final time of... 112270. Which is interesting because uh we're still in the 11 minute range. About a 20 second improvement. 
So it's actually really cool to see runs this close on a level this wrong, or this, this wrong, this long to be honest. That's really cool. Especially given the huge uh, difference in strats used. Very nice run. Your act two and threes were sick. But yeah, with that, we will move to our first place time. I wonder who it could be. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so moving on, our winning time and submission for this Mod IL comp is, yeah, it's Mookie. It's <laughs> Mookie. me. <laughs> Mookie won again, guys. Is anybody surprised? Anyways. Restart this. Let's see your run. I'm interested to see what you did. Here we are. And all right, let's see your run. All right. Interesting choice. Oh, are you are you turning your camera here because of the fish? Yeah, I had to look at the whales. Yeah, it's funny that you say that because I don't think I've ever got fished in this a single time. Like I, no, didn't I, I, I wasn't trying to manip the fish. I was just looking at the whales. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it's a good thing to look at. They're pretty cool. But yeah, okay, so you hit the button and use the crane, like the arm of the crane to actually run up it and then get right to the top. That was really cool. And he's the dweller here. I'm interested to see what you do in this room. This room has been tackled differently in every run. Okay, lag clipping on that box. Oh, is that a one frame? Are you going to lag warp? <laughs> okay, I, I think we're gonna see a lag warp here. And here, I don't, the three six, I don't know what's up with that guy. Yep, okay, lag warp, so grabbing the key one framing and lag warping out of the room as opposed to falling out of bounds. That was really fast. Oh, well. Wow. Nice uh, so, yeah, I do like how you kind of just like spin rapidly on, yeah. on that guy. <laughs> he just makes you spin, it's like hovering on uh, buckets or whatever spin around so you hit that cutscene at like i think like what 123 or something that's really fast so already a great deal of time saved from those strats very nice and how are you going okay so i'm guessing that has collision yep okay so you're running up the collision of that that's actually really interesting have not seen a different strat there so far, but I wonder if that's actually fast. I think it is, at least. <laughs> Nobody messes with Agent C. Very nice. Alright, so let's see how you do this. So, okay. I'm surprised no one else did what, what yeah, I wanted to do here. I, I know, it's so pretty. Like... It's kind of cool. <laughs> So you're standing, yep, right on top of where the fire would be and letting the explosion carry you to it. Very nice. So you end this act at 2.36, so you're about 30 seconds ahead of Cheese's run. So let's see, let's see the act two and three. This is what I'm really, really interested to see. Is the first act a little more, uh linear in terms of what like movement and options you have but act two and three really open up yeah for sure there's like not really you're just kind of like you have to do this thing to be able to progress and like it's kind of just like in a straight line so yeah so i'm really interested to see these next segments oh uh, that nice camera i didn't even remember doing this <laughs> I like don't remember this run at all. I did it like, <laughs> I did it like literally two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you got your standard movement, DSJing there. 
Oh, nice dive uh, climbs right there. Oh, nice rollout. This is some yeah, you can dive this there, but... Oh. oh. Little bit of ladder troubles. Oh, wow. And you do skip the hook shot entirely. Interesting. And then... And, okay, you grab two beach balls. I already think yeah, I know what's going so to happen here. You did pick a level with a box full of beach balls. <laughs> there. so there's a box full of beach balls in this level. Uh... <laughs> I wonder what we're about to see happen. Okay, so you're going to use the bridge to push Why <laughs> 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 you use the bridge to That is the... Okay, that is hands down the best way I think I've ever seen anybody start a hover. <laughs> that is Up we go. <laughs> and yep, right to the yeah. end because it's always here. It's just invisible. Just completely bypassing the second act as a whole. The second act doesn't exist. Finishing with a time of 4.55. So that is a three minute about time save over the other runs. <laughs> I have gotten there a bit faster, but whatever. <laughs> it's good enough. <laughs> that is just, that's insane. I love that so much. The bridge is just, that was just the funniest way I've ever seen a hover. I can't get over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, nice lag TSJ. That looked really close to make. Ooh. Yeah, it's mainly because I like TSJ because I'm like... You don't want to lose the run enough to start over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figured. Alright, going through these. Do You do use the dweller here too. And lag shot. Oh, nice. And you, oh, you carry it all the way to this block. I talk to this guy. Oh, you talk to this guy. That's going to be a little bit of a time loss. But that lag shot was really sick. What the hell? You practically skipped that entire segment. Yeah. But I'm interested to see how you deal with the, uh, the time slowing thing here. I also wonder, now I'm kind of wondering to myself if like, uh, oh, that was a nice reaction to that. I'm wondering if like, uh, like the time stop thing here would actually speed you up if you used it in this segment. Yeah, I, it, it does, but it's really hard to use, I found. Interesting. But yeah, yeah, it's like actually so fast that it's just <laughs> uncontrollable. But you hit the orb at 625 it looks like, and that's that. Like even with the time slower, you kind of just destroyed this section. <laughs> Where <laughs> this time's absolutely going to be sub 10 minutes. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's just really uncontrollable. I never even thought about that. I wonder if, like, if you used it well somehow, if it was, like, fast. That's interesting to think about. Yeah, ending just barely over seven minutes. So I'm guessing you're going to see a seven minute time of some sorts. Let's see what you do here. And get those two first. Oh god. Okay, oh, you grabbed the tree one. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Mookie, what are you doing? Oh, no. Uh, I missed the dive boost and I'm panicking. Oh, no. Oh, that was unfortunate. I did swap the ice hat, though. Just there. Oh, I, w I wonder if there's a reason for that. <laughs> huh. Oh, yep. There it is. That Okay, that was a cool leg shot. Ending with a final time of 7.41.65 as our winning time. Congratulations on the first place time yet again. <laughs> <laughs> Add another one to the tally count. <laughs> Very nice run, though. I, I think my favorite part by far was using the bridge to 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I found it, when I like, obviously I see the beach balls and I immediately think of hovering with them, and then I'm like, okay, how how do I how do I set this up? And that was just like the best way I could I could think of. It's that, so cool. That's the thing too, because the, having to hover with beach balls sucks ass. Because yeah. the thing with that is you can kick them if you touch them the right way. So most of the time, you'll, you, if anyone who's played Hatless Badgeless will know this, if you just look at them the wrong way, they will just, you'll kick them and fall to your death. So hovering yeah. with beach balls is an absolute nightmare. So that's another thing you have to deal with too, which is really impressive. I did lose... <laughs> A good amount of time that run oh, though. Oh yeah, the f <laughs> across like I I kind of like failed to put the beach ball on top of the other one like twice, and I obviously did the, the ending the thing. Ending, <laughs> oh, the ending was so tragic. Oh, but still a very still a very nice showcase of strats, nonetheless. Very nice. Run, yeah. Still, even with all the hiccups here and there, and then. And then there's Dokath. And then there's Dokath. What if I told you I actually didn't end up having the time to do a run this time? I'm just kidding. Hmm. I, did, I did a run. <laughs> I almost didn't. I did my run for this because I've been really busy with life stuff. I did my run like yesterday. <laughs> so, Yeah. <laughs> That's like the opposite to me. I did my run like two weeks ago. Yeah, I literally just did my run yesterday. <laughs> so without farther ado, we have the infamous Doka in Dokath place. And let's see what my run is all about. All right. And mine does start from the main menu. Um, okay. Alright, so let's see my run. So yeah, you're going to see, uh, I have the IL timer in Spaceship because I reset. Oh, you do. Because I reset. I'm going to turn it down a bit too. Cleared out your, your mods, though. I did, just for this. Yeah, so... Yeah, I've never been hit by this guy before, funnily enough. And I actually, I take the top route here. Oh, that's cool. I do use the uh, same crane thing that you did, though, to get up here. And uh, I dive under the door a bit early, because you can do that. And then, I, I struggled a bit there, but... Do a nice cherry dive boost, and I... Bounce it on my head. I'm actually pretty proud of that cherry segment because that was pretty clean. But I indeed also use the uh I use the box too. The funny box. I use the funny box to just lag clip through the floor and get this. I do not lag warp here though. How are you getting out of here? Instead I just lag, another clip lag here clip? and then just void out. Oh yeah. I think lag warping might be a bit faster, but I don't think that was too much slower. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I think I believe I'm gonna hit this cutscene at like 125. Yeah, like yeah, I think I hit that at like 121. Yeah, so you're a little ahead of me. Even without the uh, hub time withstanding, I think the lag warp might just be a little bit faster. Oh yeah, the hub time is like four seconds, so it's kind of even actually. Hmm. I wonder. I don't, now I'm kind of curious to compare them. And I just take a straight line. Although I will say, you can actually hit that volume from under the ship instead of having to climb up, which saves just a tiny little bit of time. And with that, the first act is basically over. And now you'll know, note still, nobody messes with Agent C. That's a good point about the cherry room. 
won't you have a different route to get over here, but I assume we're gonna do the same thing. Yep. So I just wait here for a second, just stand there. Yep, I do the same thing. So I believe my time here is a 2.38. No, 2.39. So... I think we're if you don't count the hub time, it's practically even right now. Yeah. So this is where the big meat of things come into play. Will Durka do the beach ball over? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> oh man, that's a that's a good question. Will I do the beach ball over? Who knows? See in like approximately forty seconds. <laughs> yeah, after we just fall for a while. <laughs> This fall is pretty cinematic, though. I will give that the atmosphere and like music choice in this mod is top notch. This mod is just top notch. You all should go play it. And I TSJ'd there instead of DSJ. And did the dive climbs. I did this a little bit differently. I think it was a little bit slower than how you did it, to be honest. Yeah, you didn't mess that part up there. <laughs> yeah. Then I actually TSJ from the bridge. Oh. Getting the hook shot. And then, yep, right into the crate. Yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> into the crate. This is how How's I your setup gonna look, though? <clears throat> oh, interesting. I actually used this box to do it. Which I think... I save quite a bit of time on the setup. Yeah, it's definitely a lot faster. So I'm, I'm looking for it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> and I actually did not use the time stop thingy here. I kind of just forgot that was the thing, despite me using it in other like mod uh, runs before. So I finished with a 438. So I, I think, I think you finished with like a, what, 455? Yeah. So that setup alone was just a ton of time. So I do do the lag shot. Same here. lag shot. Nice. Oh, I'm stop. I used yeah, time stop to catch that thing. I probably didn't go as early as I could there. Well, I don't know why I went around that. But... I do use this here as well. It's so strange. It looks like you're just gonna fall, but it's just, you can actually just walk there. Then I get up here, and then I lag cell over here because there's a massive checkpoint volume hmm. there. Oh, that can, interesting. That, that you can actually hit if you get a lag cell there. And the only reason I even know about that funny story is because I routed this out like when it came out in 2019, and I Scooter SDJ'd there to do that strat. But I'm like, oh, I don't have Scooter anymore. How am I gonna do this? <laughs> I just lag so. And then I fumble this part a lot. The birds got in my way. And then for this segment, I actually lag that boost oh. off and hit a volume. And then that takes you here. And with that, my strat to hit the orb is kind of funny. That was too. A, a lot different to mine, actually. It's pretty cool. And it looks like I hit the orb at 6.04. So I think that's 21 seconds ahead. So maybe about another, like, five or so seconds in the last part. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering if a six minute time in this is possible with a good run. Hmm. So yeah, I hit this loading zone at 6.37. And this will, this is my route for the thing. Oh, I, I missed that entirely. <laughs> <laughs> my ending, I guess, wasn't that great either. <laughs> well, everyone went around this way, other than me. Yeah. 
Oh, I missed the TSJ. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, <dang> rocks. <laughs> everyone messed up, except for Cheese. Everyone but Cheese messed up the ending. And I missed the timepiece too. <laughs> but, and I end with a final time of 7.14.38. Epic. GG. I, I I feel like sub seven could be doable if you combined everyone's everyone's brains together. But I know. How's it I, done? Thank you, thank you. And that was all a great showcase. Thank you again to everyone who participated. That once again concludes the uh, this week's mod IL showcase. And I won't forget this time. Uh, here are the results. And I'm going to turn off my thing. So here are the results of this call. Like I said, not a lot of entrance. I kind of expected as much just because uh, that's partially on me. Because I wasn't really clear at the start. And the timing I picked for it wasn't the best either. I'll still probably do more mod chapter comps uh, every now and then. I'll try and see if there are any more cool short ones to pick from. You're saying the next one's going to be a mod I <laughs> Yes, the next one is going to be a probably shorter traditional gameplay level because that's what I know most people are kind of clamoring for, I would guess, right now. So that's probably what it's going to be. And with that, that pretty much concludes the stream. It's funny, though, that even though there is about like half the participants' is last time, last time, the stream has still ended up being as long. <laughs> actually, no, the stream ended up being longer. <laughs> I'm looking at the length here, and it's actually the longest stream it's been in a while. <laughs> Just because of how long the chapter was. Yeah. GG's, though. Yeah, char in the chat with facts. The lava die is the most important part of speedrunning. I think we are all obligated to switch to the lava die after that showcase. Yep. But yeah, uh, thank you to everyone who participated and thanks to everyone who watched today. And, uh, if you have anything more to add, uh, go right ahead. Um, happy beach ball hovering. I'm, I'm so glad you picked them up with a box full of beach balls. <laughs> that, that was so nice of you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, with that, that officially concludes the stream. I don't got anything else to say, so have a nice day, y'all. I'll see you next see ya. time. Bye.